Hi, I'm Li Hao. So today I'm going to show you what is Svelte Actions. Well, Svelte Actions is um, essentially a life cycle functions for your elements, right? So it's a very powerful feature if you know how to use them. But before we learn about what are the use cases that you can use actions, let's take a look at how you can write actions. Right, so it's over here, I have a REPL over here. So um, a actions is nothing but a function. So I can name my functions any name like I want. So I can call it a Li Hao action, right? And I can use an action on an element. So any elements in, in a screen. So I have like a H1 over here. I probably have another H2 over here. But if I want to add an action on this element, I will use a directive use and then a name of the action, right? So this name itself has to be defined, right? It can be um, functions that you define in a script in a function you define in the global scope. As long as it's a function that you define it somewhere, the name, then you can use it, right? So this function, now we are using this action, right? So this action itself takes in um, a couple of parameters. And the first one that we're going to look at is called a node. Right, so if you console log over here right now, what you will see is that um, you'll get the node itself in this action, right? So whatever elements that you apply with the action, you will get it over here, right? Like this, right? And Remember that say that it's like a life cycle event for an action? Well, that's because uh, when this element, H1, is mounted onto the screen, onto the DOM, then this function is being called immediately, right? So you have to access to this DOM, you, uh, this node that you are adding action to. You can also access to like the parents and everything else, right? So it's like a life cycle. You know that this will be called when this element is uh, added to the DOM. Right? And to know that when it's removed, you can return a method called, so you can return an object in action, and you can return something called, um, and within an object, it's expecting to have a method called destroy. So this is optional, you can return this or not. As you can see earlier, we didn't return anything, still works, right? So over here, you can console log uh, something where it's destroyed, uh, which means that, uh, which means that this node itself is being removed from the DOM, right? So this will be called when it's being removed. So let's take a look at an example of um, how this is being used, right? So over here, I have a checkbox, uh, which which I check and uncheck will show, uh, I use with a if block. So check and uncheck will show this div over here, right? So in this div, I use an action called action. So um, this high should be called when this uh, div is added to the DOM and this destroyer should be called when it's being removed, right? So let's see, I'm going to zoom a bit on the console and I'm going to click. So when it, once I click, it's on the DOM, you'll see that it's called a high with the node itself. And when I unchecked, it will remove and it will call the by function, right? So this way you can know when the element is being added and being removed, right? So Earlier on, I mentioned that um, action itself has a couple of parameters. So the first one is a node, which is the element itself. And it actually takes in two parameters. So one is the node. The second one is called the params, right? So params. So what params does is that actually in an action, you can pass parameters to an action. You can do it by uh, some like this, right? So it's like, Imagine this in attribute, this is like the value of attribute. So you can pass in anything over here. You can pass in something probably like the name as a variable. Or you can pass it a string, you can pass in a number. Over here, I'm going to pass it name, right? So here in the console log, I'm going to just console log out params. As you can see immediately, name has the value of wool. So over here, you can see wool in the console. Let me zoom it up a bit and you can see it clearly. Okay, so let me clear this and run this again. Right, so you can see the node and the world over here. 
right? So what you can do with it is that now you have access on both things. You can play with the node, right? So for example, I want to say node.inner HTML equals to params. Immediately, once I run this action, you can see that the node's inner HTML is changed to params, right? So um, this is this is very powerful, and I'm gonna show you what you can do with it in the next video. So over right now, well, what we have learned so far is that actions is nothing but an action. Uh, sorry, but a function that you can call, uh, and it's like a lifecycle method, uh, event for your action, uh, for your elements. So when uh, the element is added to the DOM, your action will be called. And when it's removed, the destroyed method will be called, right? And an action can take in the parameters like this, and it will be appear as a second parameter to your action, right? And then you can play with anything with the node and the parameters you like. And that's all. And please, if you like more uh, knowledge about Svelte, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Um, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.